I hope you're all hungry because we have lots to eat. I'm sure you're all wondering why Brandon and I look so dapper. That surprise, like dinner, awaits you in the dining room. That's right, guests. There has been a murder, and someone in this very room is the killer. Oh, I see what's going on here. This morning wasn't enough for you. Had to lure us here for an innocent little game. What, so you and Jeff could bend me over one more time? Or is it Brittany's turn to play? I'm confused. Trying to fuck me? Ew, I'm really confused. He's a cheater. He's probably the killer and no one will know it because he cheats. Your boyfriend is a no good life ruiner and he cheats at everything he does, including you. Excuse me? Probably. It was me. Sorry? Yep, killed him in the pool hall with the candlestick. I'm gonna step outside and have a segue call the cops. Cops, goodness, no. He gets it. Oh. You card. Speaking of, I have assigned you all characters and- Oh, food puppet. Can't have a toast without wine, can we? Finally! Oh, no. Bartender, fetch the fat bastard, will you? No. It's a wine. Now, I have taken the liberty of assigning you all a character to play in our mystery. Whee! Jake, you are the mobster. Oh, really quick, in order for this game to be perfect, we all have to commit to our characters 100%. And if you all look under your seats, you'll see I got everyone a couple of costume pieces to help you really dive in. Aaron, you are the sheriff. I get a mustache. Jeff, you will be the sober preacher. Okay, when you say 100%, are we talking? 100%. I'm unsure of the question. I hadn't asked one yet, but it's a party, so when you say sober preacher... I mean a man of the Lord. That's sober. I am the lounge singer. Brandon, as it is plain to see, is our bartender. Kennedy, is it? Kinsey, like the sex doctor. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> There's one character left. We don't have a costume, but I think you'll be okay. I'm the hooker with the heart of gold. Where did you get this game? I got the most expensive heart in town! Good citizens, friends, and soon-to-be friends, welcome to our humble little speakeasy. A tragedy has occurred, and it is up to us, the characters, to solve the Bartell mystery of 1923. Uh, uh, uh! Well, we're just gonna have to keep an eye on you all night, aren't we, Reverend Adder? Tisk, tisk. Sorry to interrupt your evening, little miss, but can you tell me where you were the night of the murder? Well, I do declare I was nowhere near the murder. Where were you? Why? So you can judge? Ma'am, I'm an officer of the law. You can tell by my mustache and wooden arm. I'm gonna need your cooperation. You don't have a wooden arm. Ma'am, I assure you I do. Prove it. Fine. I was with the bartender. We were making passionate love on a tugboat. Don't believe me? He's got the steam burned buns to prove it. Check his buns, I say. Check them. Thank you, bartender. Plenty more where that came from. Not really, I need that. <clears throat> Look here, see, I got a proposition for you, see? That's your best mobster? Oh, I fucking hate this. <laughs> Thank you. It's a lovely place your lady friend has afforded us this evening. Lovely dinner party, quaint little game amongst friends. And what a coincidence that Kinsey should show up tonight of all nights. I hope you don't mind that we invited your batshit crazy ex-girlfriend to your new girlfriend's party. I like where this is going. I'm just saying it would be a shame if something were to happen to make things a little less lovely. Dinner party sabotage? <laughs> Jakey, even for you, that is. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about me and Kinsey. It's not gonna happen again. That's why I'm making this very easy for you. 
Just admit I won and... Ooh. But you didn't win. No one did. Oh. Franny boo 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 boo. You're not ready yet. But you will be. I will have retribution. You, my friend, are a psychopath. <laughs> You okay? <clears throat> Too much mac and cheese. Yeah, you ate more than I did. That's including the stuff I put in my bra. I'm gonna go ahead and call that stress eating. And I think this girl is serious about me not drinking. Yeah, what is the deal with them? Are they serious? Is she rich? Does she swallow? Still hooked on Brandon, eh? Like a monkey on a moose tit. What have you been up to lately? Uh, the huge meandering between substances and the existential crises that follow. Ah, uh, F.A. our precious little burnout. Hey there, hi there, ho oh, there, Kennedy! Kinsey! Are you having a good time? I love this homeless streetwalker look you have going. It's very Keisha and it totally fits the character. Thank you. So, you must have quite the pipes to land the bartender. He is a heck of a catch. He is brand anorific. How do you two know each other? Oh, he used to be a regular of mine. You mean? We dated. Oh. Uh, not long. Hardly dated. Hung out, really. So how long have you two been? It's been. Hard. It must be so hard. I'm sorry? Sex. I mean, I know he has quite the appetite, but uh, what does that guy have to say about it? I have a share Z. I've actually laid with, well, certainly not as many men as you, I'm sure, professionally speaking. Anyway, the Lord has bestowed upon us all the blessings of marriage. Really? Before I have sex with any man, I marry him in my head. That way, it's not a sin when I make love to my bartender because I'm doing it with my husband. Is this the game? Or is this real life? Just a few questions for you, Reverend Adder. Hopefully we can make this quick. Yeah. Spliff? Mm. What's a God-fearing fellow like yourself doing in a place like this? I may have given up drinking, but I haven't given up having a good time. Are you keeping cheese? Want some? No thanks. <clears throat> what do you know about the murder, Reverend? A shame. The very thought. Have you heard who may be behind it? Satan. And he won't stop. Of course. And where were you the night of the Bartell murder? The Cheechel. Church's steeple. Thank you for your work, officer. Fantastic, really. Great stuff. Great, great, great. Allow me just uh, a little elbow grease. It's my least favorite kind of grease. Shacking up as a lounge singer now? I leave you for two hot seconds and you replace me like I was nothing. Like I was a can of sub milk. Tell me, is she as flat and bad as she is on stage? Um... You used to be my Negro bartender! I'm sorry, what? This! Don't you recognize it? That's right, bartender. This here is a proclamation of your love to yours truly. I wrote that? It may have been a mad lib and I might have filled it in, but you got drunk and signed it. And there was a witness, which means it is legally binding because of laws. Which means you 
enemy are destined to be. <laughs> Married? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Christ, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, shit. Shit. It's gonna be a minute, okay? Oh, God. Just get the shit somewhere else, okay? Just get, the, just get the fuck out. Because of a Mad Lib? <gasps> and because of love! I need to bathroom pee. I am serious, Brandon. It might have taken me a few more dumpsters than I had hoped, but I knew that if I could get out of here eventually, I would find you. And I'm not letting you out of my sight until I get that wedding and three kids you legally owe me. Sack up, cow baby! You got a party to get to! <laughs> Enjoying the food, Reverend Adder? Hmm? Yes, yes, a fine spread. Join me in a prayer, won't you? I'd love to. Okay. Our Father, who art in space-time, amen. Thank you for taking time from your daily dosing of famine and starving dirty little babies, amen. Thank you for, oh, God, <laughs> thank you for letting my car run even though I haven't changed the oil since February, and for Brittany in that cute little dress. Jeffrey. Amen. What the hell are you doing? I told you it was in your best interest to help me out. Why did you wait for me to start peeing? What do you think Brittany's gonna feel about this little love contract? You're stalking me? And blackmailing me? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna wipe my hands on my pants because I don't want it to look like I pissed myself. But you did piss yourself. Right, but now I just got water on my pants from washing my hands. It just looks like more pee. Did you need something? I want to help you. That doesn't sound like you. A friend of mine was thinking of telling Brittany that you and Kinsey were in here dishing out the friskies and that you used the monogram towels to clean up the mess Fine. now. Fine. Jake? You want? Really? No! What is wrong with you, dude? What did you have me do? Get over it? I can't get over it, Brandon. It consumes me. Every moment of the day, it's own little series of breakdowns. I, 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 I tell myself I'm better than you and that none of it matters, but no matter how hard I struggle, it's occupied! I will not end up on the floor of my shower again, pulling out chunks of my... Ew. I don't look good in hats, Brandon, and the medicated shampoo burns my scalp. Okay. First of all, there is nothing, nothing going on between me and Kinsey. I have a okay thing going with Brittany and my penis and I are going to be very upset if you ruin that. Want your sanity back? Learn how to win. Or, or, you could try not losing. Awful, make it stop, dude. What? I played your stupid game. What's the problem? The game's not over yet, and you're drunk. I'm an animal. Look at that smile. Oh my god. I got it. I got it. I got it. Excuse me, little lady, but as the peacekeeper around these parts, I feel it's my place to inform you that I had a darn right fantastic time tonight. Really? Absolutely. And I think I've fingered our killer. You get my meaning, capiche? Thank you! Ladies and gentlemen, if I may have your attention please, my eyes have been open wide this evening, and my ears have also been wide, and I can say with certainty... I have your killer! God damn it! I have recently come across some evidence that can be very incriminating for a well-known beverage dispenser. 
A man loved by his community, a couple members of it at least. On with it. Now, it might be that I happen to misplace the evidence. Could even be the case that I could be persuaded to not go looking for it if the right offer were to come my way. What I have here is not only a confession from the bartender, but proof of his sordid affair with the hooker with the heart of gold. Jesus Christ. Dearest butt pup, that's you, I guess. From the noon I met you, you were the foxy love catheter in my sheets. You have the baldest eyes and the flattest flips I've ever tasted. Without you in my horse, my days would seem shaggier and my nights a smelly caviar. There, Brandon, take you perky as my saucy toes till the sky turns and the ocean vomits and also three kids. Signed, dated, and witnessed. <laughs> oh, what? He can piss himself, but you're all gonna judge me? For shame! <laughs>